Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, lay back and enjoy the show. Right, so uh, we have Taurus and Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising in our hands. And uh, the first reading that is going to be conducted in this video is going to be a, a career reading. So let's have a look what Taurus are to face uh, throughout the week in terms of career. Right, so the first one for Taurus that is going to be the Chariot moving next, we do have the Page of Cups followed by uh, the Page of Swords and the last one we have for Taurus that is going to be the Four of Wands. So first of all, I would like to say here, <coughs> oh my God, <coughs> looking at those cards, that is going to be quite of a uh, productive week or rather like a week of accomplishments for Taurus in term of a career now should you look for look for a job guys uh, it does look like that your unique skills I'm not talking about the commercials the the commercial skills right the generic skills that anybody wants but so, uh, you're gonna have somebody that will truly gonna see the uniqueness in you but once again as we say in the previous readings these are potentials so you have to unf unfold those potentials meaning that you have to start looking for a job should you be uh, <clears throat> Should you be jobless and somebody, some employer, uh, is going to see the unique skills that you do have. Now, aside from that, it looks like that this week you are going to have the opportunity to stand firm for what you are. Is the, probably the right expression that I should use in a sense of that you're gonna shine with your individual skills, you're gonna shine as well with your individual performance. Um, Proving that you are a very, oh my God, very valuable asset. And that will be especially strong for those who are quite uncertain for their future in terms of their current occupation, okay? And uh, their uncertainty actually holds grounds because uh, probably they have been elected for a layoff. But now as you do show your skills, that election will no longer hold grounds, okay? And you are no longer going to be elected for it. Now, important thing to be acknowledged here with the chariot is that this week is gonna to be tough, okay? It's going to be productive, but it's going to be tough uh, because the chariot relates to triumph against the odds, okay? But ultimately, at the end, should you not give up and should you be armed with your um, tenacity, strong determination, iron will, uh, and uh, full capacity, and etc. etc. Ultimately, at the end, you're gonna have the luxury to experience the look of your hard work and as well triumphing, you know, having a wish fulfillment at some point as well. And uh, where that whole thing leads to, well, it leads to the four of wands, which is the um, um, outcome of the cycle, if we may uh, name it that way. I'm sorry about that, it's just children and their mothers as well. Uh, so um, yeah, it's gonna lead to a, a successful finalization of cycles of growth. So yeah, I mean, you are gonna grow throughout the week in terms of your career. Uh, uh, the Four of Wands speaks even uh, higher than this, okay? It speaks that unlike other times around, throughout this week, you will be able to intercept a very important matters that under normal circumstances would have been neglected. And exactly that interception, that aggression or addressing 
those uh, important details will make you shine in front of others, will make you being, um, how, how can I say, under the spotlight, if you will. Uh, and on top of that, uh, this week you are to be also surprised to find out that you are going to be helped by the person that you least expected. That is because they see reason behind your struggle. They see reason, um, reason uh, into the battle that you are leading in terms of a career to sustain yourself uh, into your career. Those that are telling you that you have to give up should be those that you do, um, how can I say it, that you do ignore throughout the way in terms of your career development throughout this week. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, career-wise uh, for you, Taurus, a, a rough week in a sense of that they, it will be a bit stressful, you know, it will be a bit uh, overwhelming as well, but you can definitely pull it through, guys, and the results are going to definitely matter. So do not give up on what you do hold ground of because it's worth it. So uh, moving next, we do have the, uh, or we are going to look at the... Love and relationship. Right, so the first one, that's that, that, that. you gotta be kidding me. So first one, it's uh, the Hermit, uh, followed by uh, the Page of Pentacles. Oh, that, that is getting really serious here. Uh, moving next, uh, that will be the Hangman. Oh my God, and the final one, that will be the uh, Knights of Cups. So, uh, where do I begin, oh, where do I even begin with? Well, for starter, let's see the cards one more time. So we do have the Hermits, followed by uh, the Page of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, that is going to be the Hangman. And the last one here, we have the Knights of Cups. So Taurus, um, it will be very likely throughout this week for you to understand that, I like to find out, to come, to come to a conclusion, if you will, uh, uh, you, uh, your feelings towards somebody there are not really genuine. What I mean is that you may have thought that you love a specific individual, but that's not exactly how it is, okay? And that individual, it is not the subject you want to be with for the rest of your life, if you will, because this is what is in stake here, okay? And the Hermit, it kind of points that throughout this week you are going through withdrawal from everything. Uh, in a sense of that you're going to withdraw from the ideas of the world for the from oh my god from the ideas of the of others and you would want to stay alone with yourself now the the hermit is not a seclusion it's more like um identifying uh, you're doing that so you can uh, truly think of under what is substantial for you i mean what is going to be what i'm saying in my tarot classes is what is going to be that light that shines for you into the darkness out there and we are talking not about a specific individual but as a type of a relationship what kind of a type of relationship you do want and is the person of interest you have can offer you that type of relationship right and i do think that you are going to find out that they can't okay it's just they simply can't and uh, that will lead to abandonment of a current love interests abandonment of relationships as well for a uh, opting to move and seek a better prospect to seek happiness in life, if you will. So yeah, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, you can prepare yourself for some kind of severance, and, and that was going to be as well emotional uh, severance here. Okay, having the page of pentacles into a second position just only amplifies the things, po pointing that. Current love interests and existing loves are not in your best interests. That is for those who are singles though, okay? Not for those who are in relationship. So whomever you do have as, a, um, uh, as an interest right now, unless they don't change their archetype, 
uh, but they can't offer you what you want unfortunately okay and uh, from there the uh, the the long slog begins to find yourself exactly at the place you want to be at okay happy emotionally fulfilled loved that's the whole purpose of, of the thing that is if you should be a uh, single throughout uh, throughout the week or you're entering single into the week now it may be a long process but according to those cards at the end is gonna definitely worth it okay so uh, my point here for you Taurus is that if you are single and uh, it's simply things are not working out with your love interest you shouldn't mourn yourself for it in fact you have to be grateful for that because uh, your next one is going to be your substantial one okay now for those who are in the relationship this week plays a little bit of a, a different role here uh, uh, what's kind of the cards are divulging it is that should you have any difficulties in there and problems in between you and your partner that is because you are looking at from all of the wrong um angle for all of the wrong reasons not just only you but you as a collective you and your partner which is which may provoke a bit of a separation in a sense of that you may want to have a little bit of a time on your own your partner may want to have a little bit of a time on their own as well and why is that to happen so you can see do you miss each other and if you do miss each other that means that you still love each other and from there when you do make the reconciliation that love is going to be the driving force of the relationship itself which any problem whatsoever will become meaningless what i mean here is that regardless of what you do face should you endure this uh, an act of a uh, uh, of a self-realization if you will the relationship endure that act of self-realization Nothing moving forward will be in a condition, not even remotely close, to break up that relationship unless you do not decide to do it so. Okay, so the, the future of that relationship will depend on your individual performances in it rather than exterior influences, which exterior influences are a 90% of the causes that breaks relationships moving forward. So yeah, that being said, guys, this was your a uh, weekly uh, tarot readings. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.